Good morning. So today we are at one of our other chains that we do. Um, this isn't actually for them though. It is warranty on Frankie. Um, we run a few of them. Um, so uh, they sent me a controller. They sent me a sensor. This is before I even went out. Uh, so I know when I go in there, um, they're, they're either the controller's not going to light up or the dispatch says that the evaporator is freezing up and that the controller won't let go into defrost. So we'll test it, see if it goes in defrost. If it don't go in defrost, we'll replace the controller. Um, and I'll show you how I do that and all that. Uh. All right, now we're inside. Um, we're looking at the unit. It's a wall hung unit, it's a Frankie unit. Um, it's, dro it's dropping in temperature like it should. Uh, I, I always go through and I check my, my P1. So I got 55. Um, your fan won't kick on too until it gets a certain temperature. Uh, so then I'll hit this again. I'll go up to P2. So that all looks fine. So we'll wait a few minutes and then we're going to send it into a manual defrost. Um, the reason we're going to send it into manual defrost is to see if it's even defrost in itself. Uh, by doing that, just simply hold down this up button. And it might not be working. Hmm. Yep. I'd say we got a bad uh, re uh, relay in our controller, uh, not letting it go into defrost. So uh, I'm going to start tearing this apart. It's not too bad. Um, I'll go through that a little bit more. Most of it just comes apart. Um, slide this off. It's a little hard to do with one hand, but slide this off. You get to the other two screws. I'll yank these other two screws out, yank this off. Um, there's a little clip from the controller. I'm going to go out to my truck and grab the controller. Uh, and then you just do it wire for wire. So I'll, I'll do that, and then we'll uh, we'll see where we're at. Um, I'm gonna get out of that. I'm gonna try that manual defrost one more time. Maybe I didn't get out of the settings. So. Better safe to double check than sorry. Yeah, it's still by now. It should have went in. Uh, we'll hold it a little longer, just just for the heck of it. Yeah, seems like it ain't gonna have defrost. Hmm. Well, we know what to do. Uh, I'll once I pull these two screws out right here, I'll click back on uh, so that way you can see the wiring and how it goes together and stuff like that. But uh, I'll grab the controller uh, here. I'll zoom in a little bit more on it. Manual zoom activated. All right. All right. So I went and got the controller out of my truck, um, and I popped the door down on this. Um, uh, I guess you don't need to call a door or a panel. Um, so, we got our controller. It shows our wiring diagram on it. It uh, shows the fan, compressor, uh, and then defrost. And then your sensor's over here. Um, pretty basic controller, same as the one we took out, or we're taking out. Uh, so we're just going to do it wire for wire. We're going to undo the clips on this one. I'll set this down here for a minute. Uh, I'll have to get a different screwdriver out too. Uh, so we're just more or less going to do this wire for wire. I'll pop these clips on each side, they just got a simple button, um, a little hard to do with one hand, uh, and I won't be yanking on them wires, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them clips off, I'm going to pull the controller actually out through the front um, on this, uh, and I'll, I'll wire it. Once Once I have the clip pulled, I'll, I'll pull the controller right out through the front, and I'll wire it in. Uh, I'll show you how that's done here in a second. Alright, so what I meant by them clips is they just have a button on them, uh, depresses, lets it slide out. They're just uh, on the other side, they're like this. So they stop it, so they hold it snug against it so it doesn't move around, so when people press the buttons, it doesn't loosen up. The reason I pull it out of the front like this is because if I wire it from the back wire from wire, then my controller's back there. And with this lip, I can't get it to it. So uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and put the new controller on, wire for wire. Um, kinda curious about that, so I'm gonna see what's going on with that little bit of white dust. Um, but as soon as I change it out, I'll come back on. All right, so we got our controller changed, um, our old one, and it was actually very warm uh, when I took it out, uh, so I'm pretty sure that that'll take care of that problem. And then, I've never noticed this before, but uh, I do it wire for wire, but on this unit, and I don't know if it's the same with all the Frankie units, that I mean, the wall homes, but um, this is the first one I've seen. They actually have it labeled one through six, so it makes it uh, pretty easy. Uh, but then you got to pay attention to where your sensor wires are. So if you have your sensors backwards, uh, it won't ever tell it to cool right. It'll, one's coil temperature and one's air temperature. So you get them reversed and you run into a mess. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and push this back in, snap it back into place, uh, plug it up, and then I'll come back. All right, we put our screws back in. We got our controller in place. It's snug. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and turn it on and see what it does. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, they don't do something crazy. So it looks like it's getting ready to go for cooling, which it should because it's warm. Let's go ahead and hold this down. The problem we were having wasn't getting defrost. Bam, just like that. We're going to go ahead and let defrost run. Um, that way it's going to clear any ice off the coil or anything like that. I'll probably run it through two cycles. I know it'll get kicked out because of the sensors, but we're going to let it run anyway. Um, I did notice the coil is a little bit dirty. I'm going to go ahead and get some coil cleaner. I'm using Viper. Um, I'll show a video on how I do that too. No big deal. All right, so we sprayed it down with our coil cleaner. Um, I'm using the Viper. Uh, it's condenser evaporator, no rinse. I really like the no rinse part, uh, but the main part is it's safe for food preparation areas. Uh, so you can see we got a little bit of dirt on the coil. Uh, it is coming off. I take my brush and I just brush it down. And I try getting deep in there because uh, I want to get every bit of that stuff out I can. And then I just take my time and I slowly work my way through it. A little weird doing my left hand, but uh, more or less, I'll show you the finished product here in a second. All right, now you can see why I use uh, Viper. Um, thing's pretty spotless. Uh, I didn't take it out and hose it down. That's about the only way you get them really clean. Uh, but that Viper works pretty good. Um, we came out of defrost. Um, I'm gonna put it back in another defrost. It's dropping again. I'm gonna put it in one more defrost. Make sure that coil's real clear. Um, once once that coil's real clear, we're gonna let it um, hit temperature while we do paperwork. Um, the reason we clean the coils though is to keep our head pressure low, which uh, saves the compressor, which saves the life of the unit. The cleaner to keep the coil, the better. Um, all right, we're gonna cut back when we get to temperature after we do some paperwork. On this unit, we actually came down to temperature and worked great, job complete. Big shout out to Frankie for their uh, durable, great product. The people in tech support, super, super helpful if you ever need them. They always seem to tell you the information you need. Great product. 